was Mike Barco, a dear friend of mine of 12 years, that got me to come over and be head bartender. They were doing The Miracle Worker, and uh, I came to the show, and I was so impressed by the quality of performance that uh, I thought I ought to get involved. This is my 40th season. I began in the uh, season of 67, 68, and I started out as a costumer. And I was a costumer for many years before I branched into anything else. Well, I worked for DuPont, and DuPont had an employees activities association that did theater and sent a flyer around to desks asking for volunteers. And because I liked to sew, I volunteered for costuming. Well, the woman that was doing costuming also worked for DuPont, but she was very active here. She and her husband, Dot and Ed Jester, and uh, we got along very well. Uh, I took to costuming very, very readily, and the next show she did here, she called me and asked me to come help her. And a year later, I was permanent chairman of costumes. I found out about the Wilmington Drama League from many friends who had been involved. Um, actually, my very first show was about 10 years ago, and then I found other groups that uh, kind of took me away a little bit, but I guess I've returned home. Well, I've done a lot of things at the Drama League over the years. I worked uh, mostly in set building and set design. I was on the board of directors at one time. I was the technical director for the theater uh, for three or four years, uh, you know, handling all the backstage work. And uh, I did a lot of photography, uh, taking pictures of the cast and the the performers and things like that, so I've had a lot of different experiences. I moved to Wilmington in 1988, and I think I looked in the yellow pages for theaters and found this one, and there was an ad for auditions, or there was an audition notice, and so I went to that and uh, came and auditioned and eventually got cast and then started getting roped in big time, as we all do. I think the first show I worked on was called Finishing Touches. Uh, and uh, I did the set, uh, Ray Bach uh, designed the uh, set, and I built it, and uh, we built it with a ceiling. <clears throat> One of the few sets that's ever been built here with a ceiling in the set, which didn't make the lighting director too happy, but uh, it worked pretty well. It was a very short play about um, someone in prison, and I was the, the jilted hussy wife. I started in 1998 as the head bartender, and they asked me to be on the board shortly after that and I said no because I felt like somebody that had been here longer should do it and then when they asked again in 2003 I said okay and here I am. Uh, actually it was my ex-husband he started um, building sets here and I uh, wanted to do something outside home because I was a stay-at-home mom and I, I thought well, John League might be fun because I I'd started doing some volunteer work at a theater in Los Angeles when I was there and just thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought John League would be a great place to, to help out. I did a show with the Arden Guild players and then they told me about auditions here and I tried out for your good man Charlie Brown and played Patty in that and didn't leave for a long time after that. Read the audition notice and uh, got involved and pretty much I've been involved ever since. There's a tradition in the theater that there's a, always a light left on in on the stage. Uh, it's for fire protection for one thing, but it's called the ghost light. Our ghost light's got a lot of company. And occasionally around here, um, things will fall off of shelves or pennies will show up in unexpected places. and. Uh, uh, we're convinced that, uh, that some of our, our departed friends are um, still here. We're watching over us. And one night during uh, getting ready for Secret Garden, Ruby Stanley and myself and someone I don't remember were sitting in the women's dressing room finishing up some costumes. It was late. It was, it was well past midnight. And the music director just stopped in to drop something off and as she came through the green room and then crossed the hall and into the dressing room and she said, who's the man sitting on the steps? And Ruby said, oh, that's Judge Brower. And I said, but he's been dead for 10 years. And 
the woman said, well, he's sitting out there on the steps now. And this was someone who'd never even been in the building before. So who knows what that was about, but it was kind of fun. My best memory was the opening minutes of Peter Pan. We did Peter Pan in all its glory. We employed Foy to bring in the rigging. Everybody flew. We even flew Tinkerbell, which isn't normally done. We had exploding sets. We had stuff going on out in the, in the auditorium itself. We had had the most horrific build, where I don't think I left the place day or night for three weeks, and because we had just bitten off so much more than we could chew. I was stage managing from stage right, and I had not seen the show from the front. I'd only seen it from monitors and never did see the show in color until I actually saw the video after it closed. But I was calling the cues for the point where Peter and the children fly away to Neverland and the nursery uh, explodes and becomes something else. And we had, at that time, 16 people just working the ropes for the flying. And we probably had another 15 or 20 who had stage positions. And as I'm sitting there calling these cues, which were coming at about one every four seconds, I could hear behind me rustling and noise. And then as I called these cues and everything got more and more intense and, and the nursery was in pieces and the orchestra was getting louder and the kids were flying into the audience, the noise behind me sort of coalesced into what it was, with which people going... <sighs> And everybody who didn't have a job was standing behind me watching the screen that I was watching and crying because it happened. We're all a community, which is basically what we're striving to be, Jude. Even though we're just deemed as a community theatre, the professionalism is just so high. We'd love more people to come and volunteer for us. I just like to see more people come out and see our shows and more people be aware of who we are and what we do. Come to the Drama League. We're, we're here, we're, we put on some excellent shows, and we're going to be around for another 75 years at least.